Hey, my beautiful and handsome subscribers, it's your girl, Ashley Nicole. And just recently, I did a poll and asked you guys, what you want to know? And the most requested and voted thing was, you guys wanted to know how much money did I or my and my husband have to save in order to move from America to live abroad? So, here you guys go. All right, so in all honesty, guys, I actually didn't save money on purpose, but I'll tell you a little bit about how we accumulated money and how much around. So before we left America, um, we were living in Atlanta in the city, and we had a condo and, you know, a lot of things. We had cars and stuff like that. And we decided to, you know what, let's go ahead and sell everything. Now, we didn't know that we were going to be living abroad for a whole entire year. We just knew that our lease was up. We weren't going to purchase a storage. And we were just open to the possibilities and opportunities of being abroad. And so we're like, you know, what? let's just sell all of our things. And so we sold everything. Um, we sold our cars, sold our belongings. And sometimes we didn't even sell a lot of our stuff. We even gave it away because we were just like trying to hurry up <laughs> because we wanted to hurry up and get out of America. And all honesty, it was nothing that was pushing us besides the curiosity. You know, we never went abroad before and we were just tired of the same old, same old, you know, been in America our whole lives. We've seen it all. And we just wanted to go outside and experience something new. So we took all that money and then besides that, of course, we're investors and so we have certain investments, certain deals that close. And so um, after everything closed and we sold everything, we pretty much had about $10,000 saved up once we actually left America. Now, before we left America, even though we had $10,000 saved up, we still had investments continuing that way we can still have residual income even when we're leave, living abroad so i definitely encourage you guys if you guys plan to leave from america and live abroad for a little bit of time do some investment strategies that can that can create a residual income for you while you're living abroad and also that it can be automated or self-sustaining um while you're away so it doesn't really need you um physically there but um yeah, that was pretty much everything that we did. We didn't really save on purpose, guys, but I'm glad that we saved. You know, we didn't really need all the money up front. Of course, we chose Asia to go to in the first time, and I definitely recommend that because Asia is a little more affordable, and you get a lot of luxury for your money, basically. Um, someone had asked if we went through the money that we saved really quickly um no it's been over a year and we're still dibbling and dabbling through that income and um the thing about it is depending on where you where you go i know i'm in thailand right now so we got condos and things like that they have leases that you can get that are a little bit more affordable per month and that really does help with cutting down the cost but before we left america we didn't have a figure in mind, you know, we didn't say like, oh, we're going to save. That wasn't even part of our, we didn't save any money. The, only, the All the money that we had was from us closing deals and selling things. We didn't like save any money because we just, it was just a random thought that we had about coming out and living abroad. We didn't really think it through all the way. Um, I know people like, oh, they need to think things through. Like we're people that once we get the intuition and the signs and symbols are there we move and we don't ask no questions no how when whatever we already know that it's going to be created and whatever we need is going to mess it, uh, manifest itself and we're going to be good so we didn't really save anything but we did end up closing a few deals and had about ten thousand dollars before we left our bride so i hope that answers your questions there if you guys have any more questions or concerns drop it down in my comments below and i can't wait to give you guys another video thanks for watching i love you guys bye